Six, the third and final leg of the pick three. These are Stallions and Gildings. Condition claimers racing one mile. Purse $2,100. Feel of seven. Number one, Clearwater Clint, owned by Phil Cunningham, Dwight Clark, and Clement Rathalli of Ohio. Phil Cunningham, the trainer driver. The two, Call Me Nuke, owned and trained by Ron Gorby of St. Mary's. Dave Miller up. Three Seals Apollo, home of the National Trail Investment Company of Warriston, Florida. Dan Adier trains and drives. The four EJ's Thunder, owned by Mike Martin of Richwood. Terry Holton trains and drives. Five Velvet Volcano, owned train driven by Mark Evers of Lebanon. The six Tyler's Gent, owned by Bernard Dowdle and Leslie and Bernice Molnar of Ohio. Mike Dowdle trains and drives. And the seven, Rick and Dick, owned by Rhonda Stidham and S Linda May of Circleville and Stoutsville. Rocky Stidham, the trainer driver. Win play show perfecta and a trifecta wager. Sixth race, Stallions and Gildings, all in behind the gate on the back stretch. They're approaching the start. And uh, they're off, and uh, towards the inside, CL's Apollo launching at the attack early from the far outside. It's Rick and Dick. From mid-track now comes uh, Tyler's Gent, and alongside is EJ's Thunder into the first turn, and CL's Apollo. Early pace setter, but Tyler's Gent on the outside looking for a seat or the front end. EJ's Thunder dropping in quickly. Third, Rick and Dick is now settled in fourth. Off the middle in five came Clearwater Clint. Inside in sixth is Call Me Nuke. The trailer is Velvet Volcano opening panel 28-1. As they come to the stretch, the longest shot of the board at 45 to 1. Tyler's Gent now the leader, but not for long. Here comes EJ's Thunder. And EJ's Thunder rocketing right to the front. Tyler's Gent on the inside was caught by surprise and caught sleeping. Rick and Dick is underway to the outside, but now he's uncovered and parked in third. And that gives Call Me Nuke a covered up trip in fourth. CL's Apollo is buried in the inside five. The half 58 seconds as they swing to the back stretch. With the lead, EJ's Thunder by two. Tyler's Jet of the inside is racing second. Rick and Dick continues to race uncovered in third. Call Minuke now moving three wide of the outside, and Call Minuke moving briskly as now fourth and now third and now second and coming strong as a race into the final turn. Call Me Nuke puts a nose in front, three quarters, 127 and one. Around the final turn, Call Me Nuke and EJ's Thunder and these two are head to head now. Inside, Tyler's Gent is still a game third and a CL's Apollo angles to the outside with one set at eighth a while ago and down the stretch they come. On the inside, EJ's Thunder has responded to the challenge of Call Me Nuke, but Call Me Nuke is coming right back to the outside. These two heads apart, EJ's Thunder. A half a length over Call Me Nuke. One, 55 and one. Unofficial winner, number four, EJ's Thunder. Second, the two, Call Me Nuke. Third, number one, Clearwater Clint. Trackside now, the official winner of the sixth race, number four, EJ's Thunder. A three-year-old Ohio bred son of listening. Oh, but Mike Martin of Richwood, Ohio. Trained and driven tonight by Terry Holton. EJ's Thunder. Holding off the pesky Call Me Nuke in deep stretch. For his third win of the season and a big mark tonight, 155 and 1 fifth. Sixth race, Perfecta 4 2, $39, even $39. The 4 2 1, Trifecta $157.80, $157.80. And tonight, the pick three, 8 8 4. He only needed to select two of the three, and the, it repaid, it paid rather $73 even. Two of three, $73.